Thank you, Jeremy. Now, it doubtless won't have escaped your notice that this is Men's Fashion Week in London. All sorts of figures of various degrees of believability are tossed around to demonstrate how important the fashion business is to the British economy. For the rest, it's an opportunity to ask, in tones of incredulity, who on earth would wear this stuff? Well, one person who would, or would wear some of it at least, is Nimrod Kamer. So we asked him to tell us what he's found interesting this year. I'm a fashionable man because my socks are yellow, my trousers are knitted, and my tie is pink. This is Men's Fashion Week, my guide. When you meet a fashionista, I always compliment her or him, like say, you dick, you look ridiculously fab, and like fabouche, you look ridic, like ridiculously fab. Okay, thank you. And any interesting socks or just like all black down all there? All black, all black, except nice my, my underwear is white though. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta keep it a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Live long and proper. Like YOLO, right? YOLO fever. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. FOMO. FOMO. Yeah. You're missing out. Fear of missing out twice. FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Yol that. YOLT. YOLT. You only live twice. If you're a James cat. Bond. Yeah. Sophie van der Helen, 10 Magazine. Zachary Ching, V Files. Sophie Jews from Selfridges, the only way to get ahead in life is to come early and sit next to the celebrities that you know are going to be seated right here. Do you mind if I just pick a card out and sit instead of them so I can sit next to celebrity friends? Um, during the show? Yeah. No, not exactly. <laughs> We're going to go on the catwalk in a few minutes. Um, is this like um, a nice, sexy outfit for Men's Fashion Week? Love it. That's lovely. It's happening. Thanks. So this is like the same as the, the thing, yeah? This is the, the theme. Love it. Yeah. Hashtag Men's Fashion Week. The show is already on. I'm going to try to get really quickly inside. Lovely music. After Katie Eerie's show ended, I went down to see the next collection, where disaster struck. Woo! There's an accident! Shoot it, shoot the accident. What happened is, here in the Oliver Spencer show, a pipe just broke loose. So all of the crowd... Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. The delay gave me a chance to accidentally bump into some fashion heavyweights. And what do you do day to day, if I may ask? What do I do day to day? Um, I model and I'm uh, an yeah. ambassador oh, yeah. for LCM. Oh, yeah. And I think they mentioned you as one of the top models. Like Gan You're not Gandhi. Yeah. You are Gandhi. I am David Gandhi, yeah. The show got back on track, and as I predicted, garish socks were on display. Ridic. Can I see your socks? These are a Christmas present for my wife. That's all I really wanted. Yeah, it's socks, all about the socks, is it? Socks and a wallet. You Fancy know, socks. Nice clothes that fit. Yeah. That's all you want, really, isn't it? I know. Should we do a quick selfie and then the, the thing, yeah. <laughs> I love a, this guy's stuff. Yeah, a humble selfie. Any tips for myself? Like, I'm a bit not really sexually defined. <laughs> Asexual. Um, I'd say, yeah, let's just tidy all of this up a little bit. I like the fact that you've tried to accessorize, but if, it, if I was you, I like the bottom half. Yeah. I would just change the tie, maybe get rid of this. This is nice, but I'd probably change that. Yeah. And the jacket is nice as well. Do you know but what? This you jacket. Look, yeah, you look great, man. And my final piece of advice, if you see designer goods unattended, yolt. <sighs> Man's got a great future on this program.